So I did a thing. Hey guys, MSW here. Um, today, a little bit of a different video for it than you're probably used to, but it's one I want to keep doing more because recently I started getting back into a hobby that I have had technically as long as I can remember, but started getting a little more obsessed with it the past few weeks, and that would be Lego. <laughs> Set sold separately. As you can see on the sheet right now, I have about 10 of my custom Lego minifigures and I went down a rabbit hole as you saw in the intro and just basically wanted to get a bunch of custom clones because I haven't done this in a very long time and I am now an adult with money and I wanted to do it. So we've got a few things, so a lot of things from Clone Army Customs and then also a few small items from Solid Brick Studios minifigs for you. This guy is great. It's where I got the Rex and the uh, Bad Batch right here. So we're going to be uh, opening these all up. First, we're going to do the ones I ordered on purpose, and then we'll do mystery bags. Let's do this. So the first guys that we're going to open up here as I organize this mess to the left of me, don't mind me or anything, is a squad that I've actually loved for a very long time. And when I found out that Clone Army Customs had the squad on sale, I could not resist. Um, that squad, of course, would be Delta Squad. Yay! Let's get these guys open. We're going to first start with the team leader. Uh, good old boss. Um, looks like it came with two commando blasters. I don't know if that's necessarily accurate. He probably only needs one unless I'm misremembering the video game, but oh my gosh, this guy looks amazing. He's got the simple printing on the legs. He's got the nice cast of the orange. It's, oh, it looks so good. I, I assume that's orange. My color blindness might be tricking me, but yeah, he's even got that little visor color right there. Oh, it's so great. So yeah, there's boss. I'll give Leaf both weapons with him, but I might swap that out later. Put you right there, buddy. Next one. <sighs> All the pieces. <sighs> Next on the list, we've got Fixer. Um, oh, did something break on him? Back to the actual figure. Um, again, I didn't get any of the heads because they're commandos. No need to know them. You know their, their armor. Looks like he got two commando pistols right here. He looks great. Actually very, very happy with this one. Doing the nice green. He's got the, the more fancier backpack. Yeah. See, that's the thing I love about Clonary Customs is they use authentic Lego for the pieces that they can, so the legs and body, and then they go in and make their custom helmets. They even got the little holes there for the visors. And then they've got the backpacks and the weapons. They, they look great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this so far. Next on the list. Next, it looks like we've got Scourge and he's got a commando sniper with the little, go on, go on, go on. Oh my gosh, there we go. Commando Sniper there. He looks awesome. That actually looks amazing. I love the detail in the yellow. Again, the detail in these are great, and he's got his custom Commando backpack as well. Oh, looking so good. I don't know if the weapons they give are exactly super accurate with what they have in the game, but I mean, I've got a few custom weapons with me in this batch, and so I can probably figure out and give those to them when necessary. And we've got the last guy of the bunch. Okay, come out, come out, come out. There we go. We've got Sev. Sev also looks like came with a commando sniper. Again, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm pretty sure one of these guys is the trooper that deals with heavy. I'm pretty sure it scores, but oh man, this one looks amazing too. They've got the nice detail and the kind of wavy hand print on his helmet and they've got the, the back printing and oh, it looks so good. I'm I'm very happy with these four. These four look awesome together. I'm super happy with those. But yeah, that was the Clone Army Customs that I bought on purpose. Oh, wait, hold on. There is technically two more Clone Army Custom things I bought on purpose. This one 
is actually one of the reasons why we've got Bad Batch sitting on the side. Actually, both of them are, but I'll explain why. I bought this Bad Batch custom set from Minifigs for you when they first launched, and it was great. You know, the helmet for tech is not amazing, but it definitely outbeats that uh, very cartoonish look from the Lego minifigures. But one I always missed was our good pal Echo. And it looks like Clonerby Customs came in to save the day because he was also on sale. And so we got him. Now, before I put the helmet on, I just got to look at this body because not only does the custom look amazing, but look at this. Let's just look. He's got his little, like, robotic arm, which is a custom arm that's just been made, and it's got the little tool. It's It looks so amazing. I just, I love the detail of customs. It's one of those things where it's like, why doesn't Lego just do this, you know? It's great. And then, of course, we've got the helmet. It goes right on top. It's got the little backing. It's 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 got, it's got some thick and layer to it. Oh, it looks amazing. And it looks like they gave him a standard clone uh, blaster. That will probably get replaced by a commando one like he uses before. I'll just set him down right there. Speaking of which, some of the simple things I got from them. I have commando blasters, more regular troop blasters, and last but not least, an actual decent looking tech figure head. Like, look at this. The visor goes up and down and everything. Oh, that's amazing. It goes up and down. It looks so much better. Because, see, Clone Army or the, uh, not Clone Army, Minifix for you, he, he didn't have the resources to make this yet because the figure had just been launched. And so they printed it on a different head. And it doesn't look bad. Like, it looks fine. But it's not exactly, you know, this. And obviously it's much better looking than like this than it does than this. And this still is far superior to what LEGO did, which made the most cartoonish head on the planet. So... We pop the head on. Oh, that's perfect. You can see his visors and everything too out of his helmet. And that's boop, boom. Oh, that's so much better. That is so much better. I'm so happy with that. Yay. My bad badge actually looks decent now. Thank God. But yeah, other than that, we have a 10 of each of these uh, trooper blaster and trooper um, long rifle blasters. Just these, these really nice looking Lego blasters that are custom made. I love these these little blasters and stuff. They're great. They're gonna be nice for army building. It'll look great. And then we also have two custom, oh, I can't pick that one up. We'll do this one. Custom looking antenna that are a little more accurate to uh, the screen than what good old Lego has given us. If you're asking why that pauldron is there, it's so that I can actually fold this pauldron down because it's not staying down very well. So then I'm shaping it using that. So that's why that's there. But yeah, I just boop. And... Oh, almost. We got this. We can do it. Boom. There he is. That looks so much better. Looks more accurate. It's great. See. Again, I know Lego is in, stuck in their ways with what they make and they're simple, but man, if they just went the extra mile with this stuff, you'd get things like this. It, they're great. They're super cool. But yeah, now if we push these weapons aside, because we have another group of figures that definitely need to have their own little Evaluation. These are all from Minifigs for You, which is uh, Solid Brick Studios. Good old, good old David right there. His his store, and I've been buying from him for a while. That's where I got all of these guys, and so I'm 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 very happy with what he makes. And you know, my favorite of the clones was the 501st Legion. I actually have a display of a bunch of 501st troopers from the battle packs on one of my shelves. But we were missing a few things. Lego is missing a few things. So let's go through all of these guys. First on our list, hard case. That's a great hard case minifigure. I love 
the detail in his helmet it looks amazing and the best part is is that it also comes with the weapons of each of the characters including the good old minigun that looks awesome snap it there snap it snap it snap it there we go snap it there there we go that looks great that that is hard case right there oh i love it so much that's amazing we'll put you on this side that's great next one we grab is jesse this is before his arc trooper variant you gotta have jesse on there and his his default all the clones do come with just their regular clone trooper helmets i know that some people do make custom heads i don't know if i'll look too deep into that just because the helmet does the job and the outfit does the job but yeah jesse looks great next we got to put a helmet on we've got kicks the medical officer of the 501st and i love that they include his backpack you can actually put tiny things into it he's got his little emblem for for medic on the side he's got his it, it's they just look they look so good i just wish lego would make these more custom minifigs because the closest we've gotten is just a few captains and commanders and although some of them do look great you just you just wish that they would make some more you know unique characters especially because they do it in other themes like ninjago and stuff have very unique molds and stuff for all the characters you know there's like why can't star wars get that yeah it's just it's just it's just why these guys exist and i'm so glad that they do thank you clone army customs and minifix for you for existing so that we can have these just awesome awesome figures and last but not least we have something what the heck is this i am actually not sure what the heck this is does it connect to this blaster maybe that's maybe the thing that does it i actually am not sure what this is i think this is just a random gift that he probably put in i don't know what this is but that's what my guess is but yeah okay cool random gift yay <laughs> Um, but we've got one of the leaders of the 501st, Arc Trooper Fives. Fives is awesome. I love Fives as a character. He looks amazing in this. The pauldron and everything. We've got the, the nice skirt. We've got his commando blasters. The helmet with the details. We've got if you pull above, he's got his 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 look on the front there. It looks amazing. And of course, they've got the nicer looking visor. It does go down. It's it's great. I love it. Man, I love the Fire Force so much, and the fact that these guys make these custom minifigs makes me so happy. But yeah, that's basically everything I got from Clone Army Customs and minifigs for you. I hope you guys really enjoyed this content. I am getting back into Lego. I, it's a passion that I haven't touched on in a long time, and I'm really loving it. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed watching these. I want to get into maybe buying some of the more roulette mystery boxes because those are kind of more of a surprise. That's just an idea. I don't know if I'll do it or not. I know I have a ton of back catalog of Lego sets that I want to build and old sets that you put together. And I'd love to do reviews on that too. So please, please let me know what kind of content you guys want to see because I am hot on Lego right now. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Thank you.